Okay, Susan, this video is just for you. I'm going to show a little bit about uh, needle sculpting here on my little monster face. But I'm going to show you here how I do the nose. And then if you see around my eyes, you can tell that she her forehead kind of has definition here. I have a little bit of needle sculpting on each inner eye and on each outer eye. So I'm going to kind of show you. First you need flesh colored yarn. In this case, my monster's flesh color just happens to be lime green. We're going to say this is the front of his face and this is the back. So what you do is you go in through the back and usually this is where your hair is going to cover. So I went in underneath here in the back of her head. Alright, so you go in through the back of the head and you're going to come out around where you think the nose should be. On this doll here, you can see how I have a couple of stitches that are a little bit wider. I have two stitches here, and then I have three that are shorter stitches. What I did is I lined up with this middle stitch here. If you look, you can see the V, how that's the center stitch. For the smaller portions here, I just stitched around that one. For this larger portion, I actually went, I did a stitch, I went out half a stitch, and I went out half a stitch here to where it's is two stitches. So anyways, came out in the middle of one of these V's. I'm going to go over, let's see, half a stitch would be half of a V, full stitch, another half of the V. I'm going to bring my yarn through in the same stitch as I did with this green here. I'm going to go back around and do it again. Except whenever I come back through, I'm only going to go through, I'm going to come in half of a stitch to where before I was on here, I'm coming out on this V here. So this part of the nose is two stitches wide, the middle stitch plus half of a stitch from either side. Now on this one, I'm just going to go over one stitch, so one V. I'm going to do the same in the same exact stitch, just slightly above it. So now I've got two lines of the bigger part, two lines of the smaller part. I'm going to go up. This was all, both of these were in the same stitch and both of these larger ones were in the same stitch. I'm going to go up one more stitch and I'm going to poke this through to the back of the head again. Same spot here. And try to poke it out very similar place to my other yarn here. So there, now I have two pieces of yarn of the wide and three pieces of yarn of the more narrow. And you could either secure this just like it is and uh, snip it off, or you can use this also for your needle sculpting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in a little bit over from the nose. One, I think this is like a half a stitch over from the nose. I'm going to just hook the chain between these stitches. I'm going to go in. This has come out through a stitch. I'm going to go down a stitch and st stick it back through to the back of the head. And I'm just going to give a real gentle tug to kind of pull that in. Go back in and do the exact same thing on the other side, trying to get the same the same level as this side. Let's see. This came out this stitch and we're going to go down just one stitch. 
pull it through the same spot on the back of the head. Okay. Give it a gentle tug. Kind of creates this little sockets almost. And then it's the same thing here. It creates little sockets right here to make it easier for your eye to sit on. Now we're going to do this, the corners the exact same way. So if you have your eye already done, that's best because then you can just fit it on there and see exactly how big the socket needs to be. So I'm going to go back in again, pull it out on the other side, try trying once again to get it even stitches with this. Came out this stitch, I go down a stitch, poke it back through the same spot on the head. Alrighty, and just gently tug it gives you kind of an indention. This creates kind of if you have a you have the socket over here and the socket over here, and that's where your eye is going to fit onto. Do the same to the other eye. Once again, trying to do an even stitches. I think I did one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I want to come out about right here. Almost got there. We go. Okay, came out this stitch, go to the stitch right below it. Caught his arm. Okay, give it a gentle tug again. And then it kind of just gives a little bit of shape to the forehead here. Gives you a little place to kind of rest your eyes. Kind of worked a little bit better on the shape of this head since this is more of a square shape. This is rounded shape. Um, whenever I do this one, I wish I didn't have the eye so I could show you. This doesn't lump up quite like this. When these sockets go down, this kind of squeezes into the head like this on the rounder shape over here. And it kind of gives you definition to your forehead. Also, once you glue the eyes on, if you kind of um, bend the eye onto the shape and push it down, it also kind of will add a little bit of definition to your forehead. I hope that kind of answered your question. That's um, really all I did for her. And then you just put the eyes in place and put the mouth right here and add your hair. And that's really about all the shaping you really need on this doll.